It's also been a, a really, really, really um, loving process and something that has got me and, and my family, as much as they've hated the book, they actually hate the book. My mum will be here agreeing. But she's, she's like, she's here, she's here. She's there. And she's like, um, yeah, she's like, you, you don't sleep. Um, you still party and then you come home and you continue on in design. <laughs> but um, yeah, just it's, it's a blessing to have you all here. Um, it's a, yeah, it's overwhelming and um, I spoke to my brother um, last night, I haven't slept actually really, I slept like two hours, um, I don't really know why, I just spoke to my brother and I was like, I, I can't sleep, he's like, just take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> I sent him the book cover when I, I first saw them and I, I can see my girl in the corner drinking, <laughs> being like, yeah, I know you didn't sleep, I saw those texts, but um, it's just, yeah, it's it's very nice to be able to talk about something openly, and not in, even in terms of just men. In terms of all of us, we have to practice self care in whatever way is possible. So, whether that's coming here and having a little dance, drinking a little bit, <laughs> bringing around <your own> everything, <laughs> um, it's a blessing. It's really a blessing to have people around us, like family. That's it. That's all it is. You don't need to be blood. It's it's all family and. Yeah, we're all going through stuff. We're all going through stuff and we all go through it daily and it needs to be spoken about more and not in such negative language. It can be something that is happy as well. It's a process. It's things that make us stronger and it's things that medication helps but it's not always the cure. And um, I think every single one of um, the contributors who have submitted to him and his um, they've become my family and I mean it, it, again it's been a process but um, yeah it's, it's amazing half of them aren't even here because they don't live in London and this has been so last minute and it's a it's a Christmas party but um, no it's it's a really really loving um, atmosphere here atmosphere I don't hate that word aroma 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 <laughs> 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 Network by me and Josie. Um, the full version has been corrupted on our USBs. Oh, yeah. But um, we'll be doing that next year. I'm ready to do <laughs> But um, we'll be screening that now. So if you look onto that side, <laughs> on that wall, we'll be screening that. And um, it's basically um, a conversation I had with my brother uh, about a year ago when he was in another unit. And yeah, it's, yeah, go, go watch. We love you! Cheers to Helen! When we were just talking about mental health, why do you think men 
men have more difficulty expressing themselves. Men think that you are the type of person that better than mine is the type of person that is the woman. Yeah. And that's the difficulty that men have in mental health to talk about it with other guys or, or their family members or friends or the strangers even just to get some advice. That's why there are mental health clinics and support groups in the community anywhere you go. But do you think there's enough for men? There should be more for men. Okay. What would you like to see for yourself, for example? To feel a lot better, to do my own hobbies that I used to like in the past because I don't feel it inside. I feel like a different person. I don't feel like the Johannes I used to be. And it confuses me sometimes and sometimes I cry a lot at night and I can't remember the good memories I had in childhood. But I know I'm in adulthood, so I ask myself sometimes, how did my mental health happen? I didn't take a drug or anything. It just happened in the middle of the night. And I was terrified. And I'm trying to say to myself, I'm a strong person. I've survived when I was born. It was more serious when I was born.